faith praises God in advance. Romans chapter 4 and verse 20. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. This week, we're considering the seven steps to exercising faith in God. Uh, we've just broken this whole walk of faith into seven simple steps so that we can talk about it and understand it. Uh, and like we said at the very beginning, uh, the Bible doesn't necessarily uh, break this down into seven steps like, we've, like we're doing. Uh, but we are uh, we are presenting this in seven steps just for us to be able to understand how to exercise faith in God. In the sixth step of exercising faith, or as part of our exercising faith, we must understand that faith gives praise to God. And faith praises God even before things have actually happened. We see the example of Abraham in Romans 4 and verse 20, when Paul is writing to us and giving us insights on how Abraham had faith in God. And he says here that Abraham, he didn't waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith. He grew in his faith. He became stronger in his faith. And he gave glory to God. That means he began to praise God. He gave glory. He gave praise. He gave worship. He gave honor. He gave adoration. He gave glory to God. And that was an important part of him exercising faith in God. And I want us to understand the same thing, that as part of our exercise of faith in God is we begin to praise God for the answer even before we have actually seen it. We begin to thank Him for it. We begin to praise Him for it. So if you're having faith in God, you believe in God for your healing, and you say, God, I believe that I received my healing. Uh, my healing is a settled thing because your word says that by the stripes of Jesus, I've been healed. Then what do you do with this? You begin to praise God. You thank him for it. You thank him as so you're already healed. Now, you may still feel pain in your body. You may still have symptoms. You may still have the problem in your body. But regardless of that, faith sees beyond the natural. Faith sees the invisible. Faith is the evidence of things not seen. So your faith settles and your faith says, I've been healed because God's word says I've been healed. And now you begin to give glory to God. You begin to praise God. The same thing concerning a financial need. The same thing concerning a promotion in your workplace. The same thing if you're believing God for a turnaround of situations or uh, believing God for the salvation uh, of an unsaved family member, whatever it is. We're just mentioning a few examples. But in all of these cases, you begin to praise God. You begin to thank God that the work is done. Even though it has may not be done in the natural, you begin to praise Him ahead of time. You begin to thank Him for it. Faith is able to do that because faith is the evidence of things not seen. Faith perceives as a real fact what is not revealed to the natural senses. Faith says it's done, even though you can't see it. Faith says it's done because God's true to His Word and He's given you His Word. So learn to praise God. Give glory to God, even before you actually see the outcomes. Praise Him for it. Thank Him for it in advance. Worship Him for it as though it's already done. That's faith. Let's pray. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise for your word and for what you promised. Thank you that our needs are met, our bodies are healed. We are blessed in our places of work. We are blessed in all the works of our hands because that's what you've said. And we praise you for it. And thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.